Okay, so I would like to tell you about my research on mangrove forests, which are sometimes called the rainforests of the sea. This photo shows islands in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Belize, and the very existence of these islands depends on the mangrove trees that grow here. Now, if we could zoom in on this photo and look at the trees from the ground, we would see that they have these amazing aerial roots that drop down from the canopy down into the crystal clear water. If we dive under the water, we would see that these roots are encrusted with a variety of organisms, such as orange and red sponges, blue tunicates, white corals, and feathery green algae. We would also see a lot of tiny fish, because this is a nursery ground for many species. If we're lucky, we might even see a manatee or a crocodile. I began studying the ecology of this ecosystem as a student, but I continued making annual trips here to collect more information on these incredible ecosystems. One year, however, I arrived to find a, an unexpected and shocking scene. As I pulled up to my field site in my boat, I saw that the trees had not only been cut down and burned, sand and coral from the nearby seagrass bed and coral reef had been dredged up and dumped on the cleared area to create a, a white sandy beach. The reason was a local developer wanted to turn this area into a tourist resort, but in the process had managed to damage or destroy three different habitats, which is ironic because it's these habitats that attract the tourists in the first place. And we reported this to the authorities and the clear cutting stopped, but the damage had already been done. Now, this event changed the course of my research because I wanted to know what effect the removal of these trees would have on the stability of these islands. I thought that the removal of the mangroves might cause these islands to start eroding and sinking and eventually disappear over time. So that's what I investigated. And what I found was that the mangroves had actually built these islands by accumulating plant matter, leaves, roots, and uh, wood. And this gets buried in the soil and builds up over time. And this buildup actually helps these islands keep pace with sea level rise. And this has been happening for almost 8,000 years. Without the mangroves, this buildup this build stops. Although my research could not save my field site, the findings are, are helping coastal managers protect other mangrove forests in Belize as well as around the world. Thank you. Uh, the, the island range that, uh, that I'm referring to is called Twin Keys, and it's, uh, I, I did this work in association with the Smithsonian Institution, and they have a field station on another island that's, that's actually a, a sand-based island. Oh, they're the, worldwide, the biggest threat to mangroves is the construction of shrimp farms huge areas in many countries uh, have been cleared to create shrimp ponds, shrimp farms. How did this island get started? You said that the mangroves facilitated the continuation of the... Some of these islands actually get started uh, on top of a coral reef that has built up to a, a higher elevation so that uh, the, the mangrove actually, uh, they, they produce these propagules that people sometimes call seeds, but they're not really seeds, they're actually seedlings. And they can get, a, they can get trapped in the coral and then they get established and create a tree and then they start building soil and they create an island.
that's that. Well, that's that's one thing you could do because uh, there are there's a group of islands south of my. Uh, study site that if you look at it on Google Earth, you'll see that each of those islands has an area that's cleared like the one I described. And they're building resorts on them and tourists are coming there to, uh, to, to stay. So check out um, a resort that you're planning to go to, especially it's called an eco-resort. Well, that, that was uh, one of the studies that I did. I, I set up a monitoring program to look at the recovery of this, of this site, and it's extremely slow. Um, normally, these forests would take anywhere from 30 to 60 years to go from a seedling to a full mature forest. So, and and this, air, this type of environment is, is extremely stressful, and so the growth of the trees is very slow, much slower than, say, in other areas. So it's not going to recover fast. And today, it's, it's, it's not forested. It has some plants growing on it, but it's in the very early stages of recovery. And this was cleared in 1992.